Here's the purse. Just take the purse, okay? Here's the purse. Okay, I'm okay. talking camera obscura directed by aaron b Koontz, who also co-wrote this along with cameron burns and the story here i've got to be honest with you is a little hard to explain without kind of giving away any massive spoilers but i will attempt it essentially is a um a war photographer who has come back home and he's got ptsd and he gets this sort of antique camera off his girlfriend that when he takes pictures of and get the film developed, he sees bodies in them. Now, is it him going mad or is it kind of something else at work? Is it something supernatural? What it appears to be is that this this camera is able to predict deaths, essentially. And um, this character is able to somehow kind of change the destiny, so to speak. But in doing so, he has to substitute people's death for someone else. And that there is his, there is a photo of his fiance dead. So he has to kind of try and find a way to uh, manipulate the kind of situation to it, it, to save his girlfriend, actually. But Or is it him going mad? And he's just kind of descent into becoming a serial killer himself. You have to watch the movie to find out. So somewhat of a uh, convoluted plot, I will say. Uh, but hats off for, for trying to make a very original horror thriller mystery film that is, to be honest with you, not something I've really seen this kind of like the story before. So it is pretty original. I will give it that. I've got to say this as well. The performances I thought were quite good. Uh, the main, the central character, you know, he comes across as a sympathetic character. But you, you realise as the film progresses, you're kind of watching someone who is is committing some kind of heinous crimes, but, you know, you're still invested in his story as ultimately. So I thought that's, that's a particularly good job of the actor there. Um, the main problems I have with this film is it gets a little bit too convoluted for its own good. In particular, they, they have these some there's some external characters and some kind of... Uh, sort of plots points within the film that i feel unnecessary and just kind of muddy the waters too much there is this kind of uh without really giving it away there's a kind of character who will pop up at the end and you see some vhs i want to just cut him out altogether i feel it just muddies the water too much and there's just, just a few things that happen where you you kind of lose track about what's happening uh, so I do feel it's a little bit of a confusing film. I do feel it's one of those things, and I see this quite often in films, especially lower budget films, where it makes sense to the filmmakers because they completely understand the story because they've they've written it and they've got the, they are completely aware of it. But when you are watching from from a kind of a third party and you're seeing this for the first time, you're thinking, ah, oh, you know, some things aren't quite popping to me. They don't really they're not as clear as maybe they should be. Um, now, I don't think filmmakers should hold their audience by the hand, but I do feel they should try and think of things <clears throat> from an out outside perspective. And I see it quite a few times in um, especially lower budget movies. Uh, but that's, that being said, I do feel this is a strong film, if a little weird at times. Uh, definitely a film I don't think you can kind of just pop on and watch. It's, it's one you, you will have to kind of pay attention to. But it's a great character study, and I think it really where it really shines for me is um you know having this kind of this look at a what, what what makes a serial killer ultimately and how they almost justify the things in their mind and that's the that's the great thing about this film is that it, it kind of really shows you that in this guy's mind he's he's kind of thing feel like he's doing the right thing although i do feel like he hasn't he never stops to question what he's doing uh that that i feel should have been addressed but nonetheless it's an interesting at least peek about what in the mind of a of a potential serial killer Maybe it could have dealt with a little bit of a um, conscious side of it as well, but I, that, sadly a bit of a missed opportunity. Overall, an interesting film. Um, not for everyone, I don't think. If you just want your straight kind of serial killer film, this isn't going to be for you. This is very much a, a, a twisty film, but definitely worth a watch if you like some original content. An interesting story, some good performances. I'll give this movie a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave a comment and I shall look forward to you next time. Bye for now.